Hi, my name is Margaret O'Donoghue and I am a lecturer on the Early Childhood Care and Education Degree Programme. So if you like working with children and families, I think you'll really enjoy the programme that we have to offer. So our programme is delivered over two semesters and there's six modules within each of those semesters. Um, the modules are delivered through lectures, tutorials and through our online learning platform called Moodle. So the lectures is where all of the students come together and then the tutorials are smaller groups of students, maybe between 15 and 20 students, where you can come together and engage on a deeper level in the subject material that you've learned uh, in your lectures with your fellow students and with your lecturer. We also have peer mentoring for first year students where you are supported from fellow students again who are in years maybe three and four who've already gone through the experience that you'll be just beginning to experience and they will know the stresses and the concerns that you have and they're there to support and help you. Um, some of the modules that are covered in semester one in first year are child development, drama and movement, sociology of childhood, health and wellbeing in the early years, child centre practice and skills for success in higher education. Um, and then uh, that completes year one and then in semester or complete semester one and in semester two you've child development two, art and music, uh, social institutions in the early years, health and safety in the early years, early learning and early childhood curriculum. And um, there's a really brilliant mix of theoretical material and also fun art, drama, music and creative modules. So it's not just all theory, there are opportunities to engage across all uh, forms of ways that we engage with children in their learning. Um, so that brings first year to an end then. Um, you go into second year and second and third year students have an opportunity in one of the semesters to go out on placement and that involves you going out to an early year setting, engaging with the children, um, in some cases engaging with families um, and generally getting to put the theory that you've learned to spend your time learning in year one to put that into practice and you're supervised on your placement um, and it's for a period of 11 weeks and you also obviously are supported by your own college supervisor who would uh, come out to visit you. Um, some of the questions that students ask on our non-virtual open days uh, relate to how are you assessed, you know, are there a lot of exams or are there assessments? So there's a variation of assessments. Um, students are assessed through uh, project work, um, some of creative, some of it's written, so it can be essays or assessment or debating. Um, poster presentations, um, PowerPoint presentations, and also doing some work, uh, working, going out and maybe getting an opportunity to work with uh, schools. So there's lots of opportunities for both the theory and, and the th theoretical. So that's one part of the assessment, how you're assessed. And then we have exams uh, twice a year. So they take place in January and in May. Um, just thinking of other questions that students ask, come and ask us when they meet us on the open days. One of the other concerns is transport. How can you get to and from the college, which is an important issue. Um, and if you go on to the TU Dublin website, you'll see all the details of different ways of getting uh, to and from college. So that's a section that's up there on the website if you have a concern about that. One of the great feedbacks that we get from students is the uh, support that they get from the whole early childhood care and education team. So if you are having concerns in relation to your assessment or any part of your college work, uh, the staff are there to, to help you out and to guide you in that. Uh, some of the other questions we get then are what are the roads that you can go into when you finish your degree programme? Um, and there's you know, a good variation. So there's obviously you can go into your early childhood settings, which uh, we have lots of students doing and we have former students coming back uh, and supervising new students that uh, come online. So that's really nice to see as well. And um, there's also areas you could work with Pubble, with uh, Thusla, with um, Better Start is, is another one, uh, County Childcare Committees, Bernardo's Department of Education, um, Children's Rights and Advocacy Organisations, or if you didn't want to go on and uh, take up a position in employment, you could go on and further your degree studies and you could look at um, postgrad studies. So there's uh, speech and language therapy, primary teaching, social work, um, occupational therapy, and we also offer master studies in leadership and in families and children. So they're, they're just uh, ways of looking at your pathways. If, if you didn't want to go straight to employment, you could continue on your education. So in all the humanities programmes for students, you either register for level seven or level eight, um, but both groups of students study together in, in the one programme. Um, and when you complete your level seven, if you would like to continue on to a level eight, 
um, you can apply for that once you reach the uh, requirements that are uh, the academic requirements that are expected in order to go on to a level eight. So we'd love to see you on the program. I know you'd enjoy it if you do like working with children and families. Um, it's not all theory and practice. There's lots of, of opportunities for being creative as well within the module. Um, so hope to see you um, at the Early Childhood Care and Education degree program. Bye.